Morning Traniacs, I got the leaning tower of tri-gear here. Now very quickly before the intro, these gorgeous devils. Do you know what it is? Why do you make it so difficult for blonde Canadians to open boxes, Roka? Wow! Custom Roka shades in triathlon Terran color. Stick around and I'll tell you how you can get yourself some of these babies for free. These are light? Man. So, all right, Trainiacs, you may not have seen this or heard about it, but at the moment, we have the biggest Roka giveaway that we have ever done. Well, it's the only Roka giveaway that we've ever done, but it's also the biggest giveaway that we've done in partnership with a company that we have ever done. Over $2,000 in Roka gear that we're giving away just this month. And I didn't want any of you to be coming to me later saying, I didn't see this. How in the world can I see this? Or can I get in on the Roka giveaway late? Well, no, you can't get in late, but I want to have a video here that is just nothing but, I mean, essentially it's a Roka ad. They aren't paying me to do this, but this entire video will just be for that giveaway. So go to roka.com forward slash Taryn and enter. But I wanna show you some Roka stuff. Okay, so when you go to roka.com forward slash Taryn, wherever you are in the world, it's going to direct you to this website where all you have to do is put in your email address and you enter to win. The grand prize is a Maverick wetsuit and your choice of a race entry to whatever Ironman race you wanna go into. It's pretty slick. Now I'm pretty sure how this contest is gonna work is all of the non-winners are probably going to be given a discount code after it's announced that they didn't win. Now if you're looking at a wetsuit from Roka, I couldn't recommend them enough. I fell in love with Roka back in 2013. I'll do another video talking about how that came to be. But Roka is still my go-to wetsuit because I think that they make some of the best wetsuits out there. Now granted, I gotta admit that all the other wetsuit companies have kind of caught up. They now all have really flexible shoulders. Most of them now have a catch panel on the forearm so that you can feel the water a little bit better. They almost all have bit of a difference between the buoyancy in the legs, providing more buoyancy in the legs, less in the chest so that we get our legs up, allowing our chest to go down. But when I've gone from wetsuit to wetsuit, Roka has consistently been the most comfortable without having to fiddle around with the fit. If you are looking at getting a wetsuit, I would say the X top of the line, absolute best that there is. If you, money is no object, go with that. The next step down, the Roka Maverick Pro, phenomenal wetsuit. I would probably say just as good. And if you don't want the absolute top of the line and looking like the most super cool you possibly can, go with the next step down. It's what I swam in for years and it's the suit that put Roka on the map. If you're a little bit more budget oriented, this is the Roka Comp. I believe, and I actually use this all the time in a lot of my training because it's a workhorse and the shoulders are largely as flexible as this with the arms up technology. Like I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Roka wetsuits. Second place, you get to win yourself a set of customized advanced performance sunglasses and a transition backpack. Okay. So when I was looking at the sunglasses that Roka has come out with, the first thing that I thought to myself was, holy turd, are those expensive? Now, if you don't win and then you look at getting yourself a pair of sunglasses and you are shocked at how expensive these good looking beauties are that you can customize into Trainiac red, blue, and yellow colors, I don't blame you for not getting it because 
they are very expensive. But what I can say is I just went for a run in them recently and like these things are light. These are crazy light. The visibility without having the bar here and the wrap around, this is the plus size, the larger model. You've got visibility everywhere and I have a small face and it actually sits pretty well. The transition backpack, I can't really talk about, but one of the reasons why I like Roka and what I'm gonna talk about, about how I became a fanboy of Roka is because they do good quality work. I like all their stuff. The third place prize is a set of buoyancy shorts, which the world knows are actually called floaty pants and a set of R1 goggles. As far as the goggles go from Roka, I mean, these, not bad. I like them, they're okay. These are, I believe the X1. These are the enormous ones that have an absolutely huge viewing angle. And I actually used these for all my races back in 2018 because Come race day, I like to have a really big viewing angle. But as far as all the Roka goggles go, they fall in line with all the Roka products. That they are really good quality in the case of the goggles. I mean, a goggle is a goggle is a goggle. Um, I have not found a single one of these between these R1s to these might be the R1s. Frankly, I can't tell the one set of Roka goggles from the next to these X1s. They're all good quality goggles. They are slightly more expensive than the average goggle, but I haven't ever had any fit issues. They're fairly foolproof and they tend to last a long time. And as far as floaty pants go, you know that I love floaty pants. You know that I love Roka floaty pants. They're the only floaty pants that have ever caressed my sweet, sweet cheeks. So there, that is the Roka giveaway. I just wanted to do a video dedicating some time and a title that everyone can see that nobody's going to miss that we are running this giveaway. Roka is a sponsor of the podcast. So I guess technically, yes, this is hashtag ad, but they haven't sponsored this video. They haven't actually said anything about how I should promote this giveaway. I'm just doing it because like I said, Roka is the very first company that ever took a chance on me with a wetsuit that they gave me back in 2013 when Triathlon Terran didn't even exist. And in that video that I'll do another day where I'll explain my history with Roka and how quickly they've grown and why you saw me racing in the tier Cat 5 wetsuit for a little while. It's just nice to be back in touch with Roka and they have some really awesome people that help me out with getting wetsuits, getting discounts for Team Trainiac, and helping support the podcast. And it's a brand that since 2013, I have loved, and I'm really jazzed that all those people are in place. Thanks, Melanie, thanks, Sean, thanks, Taylor, thanks, Michael, thanks even to the founders. You guys probably don't remember me, but Rob and Kurt, back in the day, super cool meeting you. All right, Trainiacs, roca.com forward slash Terran, go enter to win up to more than something like ten two thousand dollars Canadian math, do the exchange, monopoly money, probably dollar value that you could buy a house in Winnipeg. All right, Trainiacs, go check it out later.